एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत भाषा संगम वी लिव इन अ कंट्री वेर लैंग्वेज चेंजेस आफ्टर अ फ्यू किलोमीटर्स वी अप्रिशिएट अंडरस्टैंड लिसन टू एंड स्पीक मोर देन वन लैंग्वेज दिस इज अ ब्यूटिफुल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आर सोसाइटी एंड कंट्री The students come to school with more than one language. There is a possibility that the language prevalent at the school may not be present in the child's social environment. This social reality must be recognized at school level. Respecting the diversity and to keep all languages connected with one another, Bhasha Sangam under the program Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat has been conceptualized bhasha sangam reflects and realizes the vision of schedule of our constitution this is a step towards creating awareness and encouraging our students towards multilingualism consequently students will not only become aware but also understand socio cultural behaviors of people using languages the objectives of bhasha sangam are to familiar students with all the 22 indian languages of the 8th schedule of indian constitution to foster linguistic harmony among students and promote national integration through learning of languages to bring students close to the unique cultural hues and diversity of our country through languages now let's understand how would bhasha sangam will be implemented In the beginning of Bhasha Sangam, students will be given opportunities to learn five sentences from different languages. As a result, students will develop the curiosity to learn more about these languages and will try to know more about the cultural, social, as well as linguistic background of people who speak these languages. Therefore, students are being given bunches of about 100 sentences from the 22 languages. Before introducing students to these sentences appropriate environment needs to be created so that these languages can be learned with ease and spontaneity we believe that students will go beyond and become familiar with languages this program will be operated and executed in all the states and union territories by the education department All the 22 languages of the Indian Constitution are included in this program. Short and simple sentences used in day-to-day -day life contexts have been prepared for this program. These sentences are shared with schools, teachers and students in the form of a booklet. What does this booklet contain? The sentences given in this booklet are in dialogue form. These sentences are relevant and based on the subjects or topics from the daily lives of the students the sentences are presented first in the indian language then in roman script and in devanagari script followed by translations to hindi and english 20 working days have been assigned to understand and practice these topics allocation of days have been suggested for every topic and the sentences under each topic if sentences are more for a topic number of days can be increased for practice as required process for preparation of a conducive environment should start 1 month prior to the formal introduction of the booklet to achieve the desirable objectives the same content can be practiced and repeated in the following months For documentation of this project and motivation of the schools there are some suggestions for example schools can upload pictures and videos of principal activities or daily exercises of students education departments ceos deo beos in the states and union territories can also upload the pictures or videos of these activities at the block center zonal or state levels Ministry of Education, School Education and Literacy Department of Indian Government can select best school, best block, best district, 
best state or union territory on the basis of these pictures or videos and confer prizes to them. If a student knows the language of the neighboring state, reading, writing or speaking, she should be encouraged to help other students learn the same. Similarly, if a teacher, parent, any other government servant or any other person who knows some other language can be invited to read the sentences for the students. Proposed activities must be conducted in conducive and interesting environment so that the students can use the language they are learning in their daily conversation. This can also create a fun atmosphere. The teachers should also participate in these conversations. Proposed activities There are about 100 sentences from different topics. Students who are paired according to the states should speak in the language of the state assigned to them. This conversation will be done during the morning assembly. Students should be encouraged to prepare posters, infographics of these sentences and display them in their schools. Teachers may address students in the same language to encourage them to use the language. Students would be encouraged to share these sentences with their family members and neighbours too. Activities related to this project can be organised on their own at school level. To create further interest in the language, folk songs, popular songs, poems and game songs can also be used. During teaching subjects like languages, geography and history, these sentences can be used at appropriate places in the right context because the sentences are relevant for students. To conduct this program efficiently in our schools, we can prepare in the following ways. The head of school and all the teachers must read the content related to this program. After reading the content, there should be a discussion about various aspects of the program. This program is to promote multilingualism. So, a shared vision has to be developed. The participation of parents is essential for the success of the program. Parents should be made aware about the program through parent-teacher meetings. They should be encouraged to share their ideas and suggestions. For making this program a success, it is important that everyone in the school must be aware of their responsibility. One of the teachers teaching classes 4th to 8th should take the responsibility as a coordinator and two or three teachers can take up the role of co-coordinators. How will this multilingual environment be created in the class? This program will enable the students to experience a language that they might not have heard of in our school. Probably, they may have heard the name of the language but might not have any experience of listening to it. This language can not only be unfamiliar but the sounds, the voice modulations, all these can be very new to them. Students and teachers will have to familiarize themselves the sounds and pronunciation of this language. We can spend an entire month on the same and enjoy listening to this new language. This enjoyment will result in friendship with the language. Stress-free, informal environment should be created with ample use of songs, games, popular folk songs and appropriate film songs. Riddles and jokes should not be left behind, especially those in which sounds and words are used in a playful manner. Materials will be made available to you, but feel free to use internet. Enjoy speaking, listening, playing, muttering and singing. No material is better than our enthusiasm and fun. We don't need to invest too much time in a classroom for this. 10 to 15 minutes twice a day are enough. We should be well prepared. These 10 to 15 minutes can be scheduled whenever the students are mentally exhausted, after the lunch break or in the last period. All efforts are only to make the years habitual of listening to the new language and enjoy it. It has to be informal 
no formal testing or evaluation should be done in this month. During this period, we may need some resources which will help us to create the right environment to learn a new language in the class. A list of such resources is enlisted where we can find materials in different languages. National Council of Educational Research and Training, Delhi State Council of Educational Research and Training District Institutes for Education and Training Centre for Cultural Resources and Training Children Film Society National Book Trust Any other institution interested in Bhasha Sangam Processes of Learning Responses of children When children listen to a new language that they may not have heard earlier, they would respond differently. It is a possibility that at the earnest, some students may not show any interest in the language as they may find it strange. Some may find it amusing and some others may even make fun of it. We should be prepared for all kinds of responses. The respect Interest and enthusiasm displayed by us while introducing the new language to the students will guide development of their attitude towards it. Creative ways of assessing During assessment, it would be helpful to keep in mind that the objective of this program is not to teach students the language. It is not possible in 20 days. Listening to these sentences of the reference language is attributed to listening of the language. Moreover, the objective of this program is not rote memorization of these sentences. Rather, the change in our attitude towards a language that is different from the one that we are familiar with during the program will be the signal of its success. The emergence of understanding among students that there are diverse languages in our country and the world and are equally accomplished as well as beautiful as their own language will lead to love and respect for all languages. It is important that our assessment procedures should be able to recognize this understanding. The reference of assessment should be such that students are able to enjoy the usage of language. During the Central Language Program for 20 days, we should observe the responses, participation and enthusiasm of students. Keep recording of your comments in a notebook. If we have been able to create a conducive environment for acquiring a new language during the initial month, then observation will not be a difficult task. We can do the assessment at three levels. As whole class group, in small groups or pairs, at individual level. With reference to the program, assessment on the basis of suggested sentences can be done on different aspects of the language. Sentences have been categorized in different topics. In this manner, every topic provides a novel context for communication. The following five questions focus on various aspects of the language. Assessment can include sounds, words, meaning of words in context of the language. This assessment does not judge the memory power of the students in any way. Similarly, there should not be too much emphasis on correct pronunciation as regional variations in pronunciation of any languages is obvious. Question 1. Can students listen and differentiate between sentences of the reference language from other languages? Question 2. Can students guess the context or topic by listening to the suggested 100 sentences? Question 3. Are the students able to come up with meanings of prominent words from the suggested topics while focused discussions? Question 4. Can students answer the questions asked in the reference language? Question 5. Can students ask a question from the suggested topics in the reference language after becoming aware of the context? We have some suggested methods for assessment of mentioned questions. You can change them according to the need and the context. 
keep a detailed record of the changes or self-created methods used for assessment. 1. Make students listen to three or four audio clips of different languages. Ask them to identify the audio clip of language they are learning. 2. Let students listen to the conversation on a topic from the reference language or ask two students to perform a role play or play an audio clip. Students should be able to identify the subject or topic of the conversation. 3. When students are able to identify the topic or subject of conversation, ask them to reveal the words and their meanings that enabled them to guess the topic or the subject. 4. Ask a question in the reference language from the suggested topics or subjects the students should be able to reply to the question in the same language. 5. Give reference to a topic or subject. Ask the students to carry on with the conversation in the same language. It will be a good practice that all these activities are conducted in the classroom in play-way manner. Appreciate capacity for guessing, finding the meaning and understanding of the students. It is important for two reasons. The first is, the foundation of a language is inherent in finding the meaning of the utterances. The second is, everyday life does not focus on precision in multilingualism, but on attempting to understand each other. Similarly, we should also try to understand what students want to convey. Let's learn and enjoy new languages together.